Little Red Lobster Socks? Now that's a name I haven't heard in many, many years. I knew she was something special as soon as I saw her at the Academy. <laughs> maybe it was the awesome socks. <laughs> or maybe it was the sponsorship from Red Lobster. Or maybe it was just that she only wore one pair of socks and never any shoes. Those socks smelled like the dumpster fire behind Red Lobster, if you ask me. <laughs> she had determination, that girl. Still, I suppose there's more than one side to every story. If you want to start at the beginning, well, you'd have to start on a very cold night. Late December, 1963. What a night. Dopes. That's special agent dopes to you, rookie. Not good. Ah, another strike by the double knot devil. I told you that name was dumb. Stop trying to make it a thing. I'm sorry, look, it's just... I know what that monster does. He ties the victim's shoes together, leaving them unable to move and looking incredibly silly. Hey, uh, it's gotten way out of hand. We have to call her. Lobster socks? She's retired. Semi-retired. And our best agent. What choice do I have? Little Red Lobster Socks? This had better be good, Dokes. I'm making a card for my grandma. Miss Lobster Socks, are you aware of the terror that's going around town tying people's shoes together? It's horrifying and downright silly, and it's got to end. Fine. Send over what you have and I'll look it over. You got to help us. I still have to take these cards to my grandma, and nothing can stand in the way of that. Do what you have to do, Little Red. We're all counting on you. Victims in total now. Each one looking more ridiculous than the last. <laughs> and no one seems to know who done it. Better get these cards to my grandma fast. cards for you, Grandma. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that sounds, that sounds lovely. <laughs> I'll see you soon. i see you soon. Goodbye. Hey, hey watch what? where you're going, Buster. Hey, what? Chill out. It was just an accident. You almost made me drop all my cards for my Grandma. All of these are for your Grandma? What are you supposed to be? I'm a lion, obviously. Yeah, right. And my socks are green. Now get out of here before I call my Red Lobster appointed lawyers. Your socks? You're not wearing any shoes. I haven't worn shoes since the day I put these socks on. Ugh, you don't say. Uh, but that means you don't have any laces. Which means that I can't. Never mind. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh well, on to Grandma's house. Wait! Does your grandma wear shoes? Of course she wears shoes, duh! What sort of person doesn't wear shoes? And, uh, which way does she live? The way I was going before I bumped into you! Well, I guess that makes sense. Have fun! You know... If you go to the left up here, there's a huge swimming pool with a giant diving board that's sock swim friendly. You're kidding me! That's what I want for my birthday more than anything! How did you know that? 
Lucky guess. I can just go to Grandma's later. Bye, Lion. Bye, little red lobster sings. <laughs> socks are dirty and you should really consider wearing a different pair every once in a while. Enough talk! You're under arrest! I thought you were retired. Semi-retired. Ah! Get out of here! Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate everything you've done for this town, little red lobster socks. <laughs> that fiend could tie shoes, but he couldn't tie my socks. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do now? Maybe uh, wash those socks? <laughs> no, no, that are you kidding me? That wash all the luck clear out of them. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna head home and pour myself a fat glass of chocolate milk and make a card for my grandma. And just like that, she vanished into the night, leaving behind a trail of cards and a stinky footprint where she stood. The lion got locked up for a long time. He served almost 20 whole minutes before he was released with a very stern warning. I myself served another 40 years before retiring to become the narrator for this film. Little Red Lobster Sauce? She's still out there somewhere. Now fully retired and still wearing the same pair of socks, Little Red has gone off the grid to get some peace and quiet. Even though no one knows where she is, Grandma still gets cards mailed to her to this day. And we all lived, as you know, happily ever after. I'm a lion. <laughs> 